Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a favourites video. I haven't done one of these in forever. I absolutely love beauty, but I don't do enough beauty videos, so here is me trying to compensate for that. So this video is actually in collaboration with Boots. They asked me to pick some of my favourite things from the site, and I'm also adding a few bits extra just for bonus that I've been loving at the moment. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video, and I'm gonna jump in. I'm also gonna show you guys some of the products actually like me doing it on my face so that you guys see how I work with them and stuff. So I think hopefully it'll be helpful. So I'm probably gonna jump off with base because I, as you guys know, I'm really battling with my skin at the moment and I really need the perfect foundation to cover but still hopefully keep my skin looking natural as possible. And I think I've recently found the perfect foundation combo, like perfect base finish. And that's the Smashbox products. Smashbox isn't really a brand that I gravitate too much towards too, I don't know why, but it's got a really good price point, it's easily accessible, the girls on the counters are always really helpful, they give you samples, they help you out choose colours, and it's a bit more of a personal experience in boots. These two are like my new favourite combo. So firstly it's the Smashbox Studio Skin uh, Foundation, the 15 hour wear. This is not new, but it's definitely new to me, and like I said, I'm just very hesitant to try foundation. I got the colour in 2.2, and I'm very pale at the moment, I probably could have done with a 2.1, definitely going to try the 2.1, but for now I've loved mixing this in with other foundations to give me the perfect colour and the perfect finish. I think this is weirdly one of those foundations that will work perfectly if you're both oily and dry. I'm really really dry but I still get a little bit oily sometimes and it's just been perfect and it really does do what it says on the tin. And to set that in place, or you can even use this sometimes, I like to do this as like a refresher before I put my makeup on. I've been loving the Smashbox Primer Water and I'm obsessed with anything primer related, like any um, mist sprays and things like that and when I saw this I was like I have to try it. It's got no silicones, no alcohols and it's oil free as well and it's got such a lovely fresh scent. It's a really really fine mist and it's got a really nice fresh kind of essential oil smell to it. It's just a really really good product. I'm actually going to throw away the packages now that I've shown them to you but um, this combination together is just amazing, especially if you've got problem skin like me and need a good foundation. Okay. On the Skin Vibes, this is another one of my favourite products, it's probably the number one most favourite product on YouTube, but it's probably one of my all time favourite things to buy from Boots, and when they started stocking it, it was just like everyone went crazy because it used to be really hard to find, and that's Bioderma. Bioderma, if you don't know, is just a micellar water, and a micellar water is just something that helps cleanse your skin. It's a part oil, part water, and they just really are good to grab makeup and dirt, and are really good to just not have to use a makeup wipe. I'm not, I try not to be a makeup wipe girl, and these stop me from being that. You can get this really good two pack, and as you can see, they're 12 50 which is a really good price for 500ml. It's just amazing, and they're really good travel friendly sizes, especially if you're like staying around your friends or whatever. So I'm still obsessed with Bioderma. Another thing I'm really known for on YouTube is my obsession with lashes, like my natural lashes. Although at the moment I will get onto it, I've been obsessed with false lashes like I'm wearing today. Um, this is just something I'm going through like a phase at the moment and it's Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. I don't think necessarily always have to spend a lot of money on your mascaras, I love the Maybelline. Lash Sensational, the one in the purple tube. If you want a more fancy mascara, then definitely this is one to go for. You just can't beat the packaging, like how divine is that? Chanel logo at the front, and then this is the wand. I am, by the way, wearing my top um, backwards, <laughs> so in case you guys think, Bob's, you're crazy, and it's got like puffy sleeves and stuff, um, but I just, I prefer this being the front. This is what the wand looks like. It's just a plastic wand, um, and it's quite, it's quite ziggy zaggy and I really 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 like it. Um, it gives me good volume and I love the satisfying click. I don't know if you guys are going to hear it. Oh, it's just really satisfying. As I was saying in the last clip, false lashes have been my complete jam at the moment. I just absolutely love glamming up. It's not just for camera. When I'm going out in the evenings for drinks and things like that, I'm obsessed with wearing lashes and I never really was that into it unless I was just going clubbing. But at the moment, I just think they really add, you know, a bit of oomph to your look. And at the moment, these are a really good pair. I will come in closer. These are a really good pair, and they're from Kiss. Kiss is probably one of my favourite brands that Boots carries for lashes. And these are just really good for volume, but also they're not too, too unnatural, which I like. And it's these ones. They're called the 
Kiss True Volume Ritzy Natural Black. And that's what these are called. I know you guys know how to put on lashes. I don't have to show you. But... And then more from Kiss. If you watched my last video on my makeup video on putting on lashes and like my glam go-to look, I will put an insert on how I put these on, like a really quick sp speedy montage. I'm obsessed with individual lashes. And like I said, these are from Kiss and they're just amazing. They come in short, medium and long. And the long ones are long and they are just gorgeous. If you want a more natural, well, I guess you can you can make these as natural or as full as possible. In my last tutorial, I do definitely go more lashy, but if you wanted like a super natural lash and you've got some time to play with them, then it's such a good, fun thing to do, like I said in that video. Um, and then I also love these from Isla, and they kissed us some of these as well, so I kind of mix and match um, brand-wise. And these are the duos and trios, and these are just cluster lashes. And like I said, I will show you guys how I put them on. These make them look really kind of clustered and full. Um, so I like mixing and matching those. They're just really cool. It's my new favourite thing to do when I'm not wearing strips like I am today. So definitely have a look in the lash section of Boots. And they've always got like three for two offers. And they're just great to buy from. Before we come on to two perfumes that I've been loving, the pharmacist in me has to show a really practical product. And this is something that recently has absolutely saved my life because I've been suffering with chronically dry lips at the moment. And had I not have discovered this product, I would not be able to wear lipstick the way I am today. Um, I don't have to scrub at my lips in the morning. If I find I have a dry spot on my face, I just apply it to that area, which for me at the moment is around my nose. And I wake up in the morning and I just don't have any flakes. And that's Aquaphor Soothing Skin Balm. And this can be used pretty much anywhere. I would say it's very thick, it's almost like a Vaseline consistency, so it's kind of like a barrier cream, but it doesn't break me out or clog my pores. But like I said, I only apply it to like really specific areas, I don't apply this all over my face. But if you've got eczema or really chapped lips or anything like that, um, I think Aquaphor is a great product to just keep um, on your persons, like at home. They also do a lip balm version of this, but um, I've been also loving this and I kind of double it up with the lip balm. You can just pick this up in the skincare aisle. Another favourite which you guys will see is very beat up because I've had this for a while now is Sleek and it's the highlight kit. This highlight kit is the best highlight kit on the high street drugstore you will ever find and I am obsessed with this goldy colour here and I also really love the powdery pink. This colour, the bronzy one, beautiful and it's what I'm wearing today. I mean, how pigmented is that? Literally the most beautiful highlight colour ever. And if you haven't looked at Sleek, it's only like, I don't even know how much this is, but it's so cheap. I've had it for so long and it definitely has become one of my go-to highlighters that trumps my more high-end one. Lastly, but by no means least, I have to show you guys two perfumes. And these are two brands that I would always go in and smell um, on my lunch breaks and things like that when I've got free time. And I absolutely love them. And first of all, it's Tom Ford. Tom Ford is probably one of my favourite perfume brands. And recently, I just have fallen in love with their classic Black Orchid perfume. And the great thing about buying your perfumes from Boots is that you get your point system. And obviously, that's one of the perks of shopping there. You get four points for every pound. They really do add up. And um, that's why I tend to do all my toiletry shopping there and all my perfume makeup shopping because it's just convenient. And I do really start to get my points adding up. At one point, I think I had like £100 on my Boots card. It's crazy. I really do shop there. And this is, like I said, the Black Orchid. I, I had a few Tom Ford fragrances and I just never really got round to getting this one. This is the ultimate sultry night out fragrance. It smells divine. Um, it's definitely musky, kind of woody, um, spicy a little bit. I don't know. I'm not very good at describing fragrances, but the Tom Ford fragrances are probably some of my favourites because they just last. If you apply this, you do not have to reapply and you probably still will smell a bit of this like the next day, um, even if you shower, which is crazy. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I would even wear this during the day, but I do think it's more, it's not the kind of perfume I'd wear to work, but it's definitely the kind of perfume I'd wear like um, on a night out or something like that or going for dinner. Now, this is probably like my most outstanding perfume in a while and I am obsessed with it. And it's Chanel uh, number five, Le, 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 I don't know. I'm not, I don't speak French, but I'm trying. And 
I have smelled Chanel number no. 5 for years, um, my mum has a bottle of it, it's just like one of their iconic fragrances, it's, you smell it and you know what it is. This is like the fresh, youthful version of that and I never really was like a fan of number no. 5 on me but this is incredible, like I can't tell you guys how much I love it on me, it's the perfect day to night fragrance, it's it, even though it's an eau de toilette, I think it's still very potent. Beautiful Chanel packaging, um, which comes with all their perfumes. It's just really, really classic looking, and it smells identical to number five, but you can definitely smell that it's toned down. And that's what I'm obsessed with. It's just got the most beautiful floral, but number five, but diluted smell. I can't explain it but it just really meshes well with my skin. You know when you find one of those perfumes that just really meshes well? And if you're a Chanel lover, I just think you have to smell this. Um, I can't I can't tell you guys how much I love this. It's definitely become one of my absolute favorite perfumes and one that I probably will always have in my collection. So Chanel, please don't ever stop making this. Definitely go and have a smell of it. Spray it on your hand or on your body, walk about with it and then think about it because I just absolutely am obsessed with this fragrance. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely enjoyed filming it and thank you again for Boots for working with me. It was really good to show you guys some current favourites but also some more cult favourites that I've had for a very long time. Um, if you guys love any of these products or if you guys want to tell me your favourite products that you get from Boots normally um, on your sprees then let me know down below. I will see you guys all very soon in my next video and I love you guys lots. Take care!